Welcome back, everybody. You know, it was a really big day in the science community as NASA's newest rover, Perseverance, successfully landed on Mars after its seven month journey to the red planet. It actually just happened right before most Buffalo started today. Earlier today, Storm Team 2 meteorologist Elise Smith spoke with NASA scientist Michael Meyer about this latest Mars exploration project. So Perseverance is pretty amazing. It's a little bit heavier than its predecessor, Curiosity. Uh, it has a similar architecture but it has new instruments and it has a different purpose. Uh, part of it is to explore Jezero Crater and look for the signs of life. So, uh, and looking for ancient life, you know, biosignatures. So because of that, the instrumentation is also different. And then there's one huge difference in uh, this rover compared to other ones. This rover is gonna take core samples and take uh, regular samples and store them on the surface of Mars for another mission to come and pick those up. So it is the first step in sample return. This will be the first time we will bring samples back from another planet. And jumping off of that, looking ahead to the eventual goal of having humans travel to and land on Mars, where does this mission fit? Or in other words, what do you still have to learn about Mars atmosphere and the surface before that can all happen? And how does pers Perseverance fit into that? So perseverance is part of the long range plan of having humans go to Mars. And part of it is, you know, exploring a region, understanding the planet better so that, you know, we can kind of reduce the cost of going to Mars type of thing. Uh, not only in terms of reducing the number of surprises, but also how to prepare for it. One of the things that perseverance is doing, it has an instrument on board called MOXIE. It's a technology demonstration instrument. And what it's gonna do is gonna split the atmosphere of Mars, the CO2 of Mars, split it and make pure, pure oxygen. So that oxygen is obviously something that astronauts would like to breathe, like you and I, but also um, oxygen is great for uh, jet fuel. It's the oxygen, uh, you know, the second part of jet fuel. So they can make their own one component of jet fuel on Mars. I'm a scientist. And the thing I can't wait for is when it lands and gets its instruments out and it starts going to work and exploring a brand new place on Mars. So also on Perseverance is a special CD with names of civilians that were collected prior to its launch. And that CD will be placed on the planet during Perseverance's visit. So most notably to Buffalo on there, Pancho Bila. So very interesting. And you know, I know too that they weren't entirely sure that it was going to land without incident and it was going to work. So it's worked now. So you can bet there's a lot of happy oh, people at NASA right now. I love reading about that. And the asteroid that they just discovered has all of this uh, material on it, all of the metal on it, gold, platinum, um, silver it has all these alloys that they just uh, discovered too i love reading about all that i know it's fascinating stuff and we've gotten a lot of thing from this things from the space program so yes. it's, you know interesting to see what this will mean for our future but um, meanwhile